Hey moms, if you are exhausted, I wanna help you today. First of all, know that you are not alone. You are not alone. Almost every single mom that I have the pleasure of talking to who has a child with um, medical issues, intellectual disabilities, neurodiversity, um, we are just exhausted. As a group of moms, we are exhausted. I think motherhood is exhausting, we know this. You can talk to any mom and we feel that way. Um, and then you layer in working, you layer in therapy, you layer in all these other things that we juggle and it's easy to feel exhausted. But it doesn't have to be that way, right? I wanna give you some hope that it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to stay in that place and there are a lot of things that we can do to help improve our energy naturally that don't take a lot of time and are just really simple, simple things um, that can make a big difference. So if you have just accepted the fact that you have to live there and are trying to get through your days with caffeine, coffee, um, sugary pick-me-ups, and just sheer willpower and the fact that you have to keep going, I wanna give you some tips today from my own personal experience because I have lived there for many years, uh, when my son was first born, I I was there um, and have really invested a lot of time and been really intentional about creating habits for myself so that I could feel better. Because what I realized is that when I was exhausted, um, not only was I suffering, but my family was suffering as well because I was more likely to lash out at my kids. I was impatient and with my kids and their behavioral needs and just the amount of patience that I needed to show up with to be able to work through therapies and work through feeding time. Like I just knew that I had to figure this out um, because what was going on was not working for me or for my kids, for my spouse as well. You know, my marriage was really hanging by a thread for a little while because I just didn't want to talk to him. I didn't have anything left to give to my husband. And so I feel really strongly about this because also when our energy is low, we also miss out on other really important things apart from just being with our family, but having energy to exercise and, and take care of our body to prevent, you know, disease and, and aches and pains and injuries that come when we're inactive. Um, I see that all the time with, with moms who are struggling with low energy. Um, it's stress levels, it's, it's just all of the things. So here we go. What is causing your low energy? And what are some things that we can do to move you through this? So there are the obvious ones, the obvious ones. Sleep is a big one. If you are not sleeping, this is, this is the biggest part. And unfortunately, when we have kids that either have sleep issues, like my kids um, have ADHD, and it's just hard for them to fall asleep, first of all. They wake up often, they wake up early. And so my sleep, um, I've had to really work hard to, to get through that, and sometimes I can sleep well, um, and then sometimes I can't, especially if you're dealing with a sick child. So as best as you can, right, we, we work to give ourselves quality and quantity sleep um, doing things like managing your stress levels is also incredibly important. We often um, under uh, underappreciate how much stress, anxiety, it, these things exhaust us. Uh, it really demands a lot of energy from our body and we can get through short periods of stress pretty well, but if you're dealing with chronic stress, this is another one that we just have to deal with um, and find ways to manage that. There's lots of different ways that we can do that. And if you're curious to learn more about that, I just recently did a series all about mental health and stress management um, and ways that we can improve that as special needs moms. You can find those videos here in the Facebook group or over on my YouTube channel, um, Oxygen Fitness Coaching. But today, nutrition. I've got nutrition on my mind because this is an area that we know impacts our energy levels drastically, almost as much, if not as much as the sleep and the stress levels. 
And when it comes to nutrition, it can be very, very confusing because most of us, when we think about what we eat, often we are approaching this from the perspective of, you know, maybe I'm overweight, maybe I'm carrying extra body weight and I need to eat so that I can lose weight. And often when we're looking to change our nutrition, we lean into things like diets, uh, we lean into things like tracking and, and calorie restriction and making sure that we are eating less because we are in this place of hoping to lose weight. So if that's you and you are acknowledging that your nutrition is not ideal <laughs> and looking for different solutions, I do not blame you for looking at keto or looking at um, Weight Watchers or My Fitness Pal or Noom or any of these other weight loss programs because that's where we typically go when we look at adjusting our food. However, when it comes to having better energy, these actually are not really going to serve your best interest. There are, um, when we restrict calories, our calories, our energy, our, you know, when we restrict our uh, sugar, our carbohydrate intakes, this is also our energy. And so doing less and cutting back is not, not always in the best interest of your energy. And it can actually create more problems over the long haul. And there's actually one main thing that I look at when I'm looking at nutrition and looking at energy levels in moms. And this is something called our blood sugar balance and looking at different hormonal things that are going on behind the scenes. Because the reality is when we eat and the nutritional content of what we eat, like how often we eat, how much protein, how much carbohydrate, how much healthy fats we're getting, and the balance and quantity of what we're eating is incredibly important in how we're gonna have energy for the day. And when I see people get this right, when I see my clients start to get this right, and when I got this right in my life, it was absolutely life-changing. It is life-changing because all of a sudden, things like cravings that we deal with just normally all throughout the day start to disappear. It's not a matter of willpower or just having to not choose to eat the chips or choose to eat the ice cream. And they just go away because your body suddenly has what it needs. The second thing that happens is you have energy. You know, maybe you can relate to the highs and lows, the roller coasters of energy and then crashes throughout the day. That is actually a sign that your hormones are, are out of balance and your body is not getting the right balance of nutrients throughout the day. So not only do your cravings go away, not only are your, um, are your energy levels more stable, your mood in general, in general is gonna be more stable throughout the day because our, our energy is directly connected to our mood. And so if you suffer like I have from mood swings and impatient outbursts, this is something that you can actually see start to go away when you get your nutrition balanced. And finally, that big question of weight loss, yes, like when we focus on, you know, eating better and not less, are, we actually end up losing weight. And I have seen client after client in my programs just melt away body fat in a matter of, of months because they have gotten their body into that place of balance and, and it's just a beautiful thing. So if this is something that you're curious about learning more, maybe you only know about nutrition from the standpoint of, of diets or counting calories and restricting, I want you to know that this is not the big picture. There's actually one other element that I have found to be the most effective in restoring energy, helping moms to reduce cravings, reduce emotional eating, reduce um, you know stress and, and just all those outbursts that we have, and in fact, losing weight in a sustainable and slow way. So if you're curious to learn more about that, this weekend I've got a free training that I'm doing and I would love to help educate you more on what this looks like and how we can implement this in our lives as busy moms, because I get it, it's, it's busy. And often when we think about 
nutrition, there's always that question of, well, I don't have time for that. Maybe I don't have time to make fancy meals or make different meals for everybody. And I get that. And you don't have to. It is actually quite simple. So I'm going to be giving you three uh, solutions, three ways to improve your energy with simple nutrition hacks, little things that you can do that make an enormous difference and give you the understanding of what is actually going behind the scenes if you're exhausted, if you're dealing with cravings um, and seeing weight gain happen and, and wanting to fix that. So if you need that right now, do this. Do this one thing for yourself. It's going to be this weekend, Saturday. I'm going to pop a link here into the comments so that if you want to get registered, you can. And definitely register for this one. There is a limited number of seats on this. Um, so you'll want to save a spot. If you can make it live on this, I've got a gift that I'm giving everybody uh, that comes on live. It is my fast fuel for busy days smoothie guide, plus my favorite recipes. Uh, these are five minute meal options that you can make with these really healthy balanced smoothies. And I'm excited to gift that to you if you can come live. And if you can't come live, I get it. Weekends are hard. This is just how it worked out best for me right now. Um, but let me know in the comments. Just let me know I want the replay. I'll make sure to take note of that and send that to you later after we are done with the training. But either way, know that you do not need to stay in this place of exhaustion. There is hope for you. There is help for you. And if nothing else, just pop into a chat with me. Let me know how you're going. This is what I do is helping moms figure out the next steps to become healthier in whatever way that looks like for you. I'm a big fan of the baby steps because we can't change everything all at once. And I would love to help you with this next baby step in figuring out ways to improve your nutrition so that you can have better energy and feel your best as a mom. You guys have a great rest of your day. I'm so happy to be back here with you in the group and uh, look forward to seeing you this weekend in the training.